so I mentioned my rocket fell off the shelf. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's a little dusty. Um, actually, it's not too bad in the, uh, the smash to pieces part. <laughs> um, I think there might be some internal damage because a lot of these things are not fitting nicely anymore. Um, and, uh, but this is, this top piece broke off. Ooh, that's tough. Right there. <laughs> Um, and this guy, I don't know if this is supposed to be on here. I honestly don't know because this guy was also laying on the couch. So I don't know what he's from. I honestly don't know because there's nothing on there. And this guy as well. I don't know. Um, it looks like, oh, it might've come. Yeah, it came out of here. So I go this. So this thing goes like that. Yeah, you can see. Um, I got off lucky. <laughs> the, it was missing some of the tail fins too, the, and I put them back on. I'm gonna say, let me just get this thing over there for a minute. There we go. I'm going to say that this set, out of all the, oh, something's loose inside. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> so, more stuff broke. Ah, oh, there's pieces that, I don't know where that's supposed to go. Oh, so, yeah, it, it, it landed on top of the couch. I rolled off the, uh, Rolled off the uh, shelf and onto the couch. That's always happened. I don't think this piece is part of the set. I don't I have to look at it because I don't see where it would go. Anywho, um, there we go. Go oh, back to this. This set. was for me besides classic space uh i'm gonna have to say as a set in and of itself was my most favorite set that lego company ever put out <laughs> it, it is it is so perfectly perfect like when i was growing up like as i say before i was too young for the apollo missions like they stopped in 70 whatever early 70s and yeah, that's broken too so the, yeah i have to take this whole thing apart and figure out the various this thing is not sitting properly um uh so the apollo missions were, were done before i became like really cognizant of space missions uh i mean I, I was watching star trek and i was watching space 1999 i was watching whatever but it wasn't until like the late 70s when i really really got into like you know and i still watch star trek and then star wars came up uh by that time the enterprise is being rolled out of the hangar so the shuttle, the space shuttle for me was my most influential, influential part of NASA in their entire existence, the space shuttle program. I was glued to the set on Columbia's first watch. I was glued to the TV when the Enterprise was doing the aeronautics off the back of the 747. I was, I was glued to I, I, the first bunch of shuttle launches. I was like, oh, this is the best thing ever. Um, and I was sad to see it stop. And again, I understand why it stopped, but I was sad to see it stop. So, uh, but retrospectively obviously i love the paul 13 as a movie uh i love the uh, neil armstrong i loved all that stuff on the apollo 11s uh and the saturn 5 it was for for its time the most complicated piece of machinery on the planet and i i think that this lego set does it justice now there are people out there who are rivet counters who say that the saturn 5 model made out of lego <clears throat> had some woeful deficiencies compared to what they could have done and i i see that in almost every build from the uh lego ideas line where the the designers don't get exactly what they wanted in the final products release and that's it is what it is for me this is a perfect set it's it's one of my most uh happiest uh sets the build is utterly fantastic 
Um, I, I loved building it. I, I found the, uh, the techniques, the techniques for building it were, that piece always comes off because I keep on hitting the ceiling with it. It's so tall. <laughs> um, and I actually had this thing in my layout once on the, on the rocket platform. Um, which what I like, okay, I'm going to wrap this up and, um, this is fixed now. So there you go. I will talk to you soon.